New at 4.30, we have an update now after a firefighter under investigation for what another firefighter claimed to be an anti-Semitic picture of the battalion chief. We first showed you that picture and the federal complaint from a Jewish firefighter in April. News 6's James Barbero tells us where the city of Melbourne's investigation stands now. Since our first reporting on this story in April, the city of Melbourne now tells us it found the picture of the firefighter under scrutiny was taken 16 years ago. We then got a response from the Jewish firefighter. He filed the complaint, and through his attorney, he says it doesn't matter when the picture was taken because that battalion chief is still working for the city. All of these actions were done in the workplace. Attorney Daniel Perez in April showed us this picture of his client Aaron Starkey supervisor Jody Collar. The battalion chief wearing a mustache and performing the infamous salute of Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany. Now the city of Melbourne tells us it found the old picture was inappropriate, showing extremely poor judgment and a lack of sensitivity. But those who were involved back in 2007 were not intentionally acting with any kind of racist or anti-Semitic intent or bias. A new statement from the city goes on to read, Collar has never been involved in discriminatory or harassing conduct, and his picture was also not found to be widely shared within the fire department as Starkey's attorney argued. It had been circulating among the upper echelons of the department as a joke or as a poor gesture in my estimation. In a new statement from Perez, he writes to us, given the opportunity to put its house in order, MFD has decided to not hold anyone accountable for this behavior. This is a sad day for the MFD, city leadership, and the residents of the city of Melbourne. We look forward to the U.S. EEOC's investigation of this matter, including the city's response today. The city did not provide us a timeline when the full EEOC investigation might be complete. But we'll continue to bring you all updates to this investigation as we get them. In Melbourne, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.